three, two, and action. <laughs> okay, so I have cleaned out. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. My name's Angelique if you are new here and today we are going to be cleaning and organizing my kitchen. Yay! <laughs> if you guys are subscribed to me, if you're not, you definitely should be. <laughs> but if you guys are subscribed to me, you guys know that I have been organizing my whole house. We started in my closet and office, then moved to the bedrooms and bathroom, and now we are organizing the kitchen. This is the last main area in the house that needs some desperate attention. We're gonna be cleaning the whole space, we're gonna be organizing the cabinets, going through the fridge, and then adding organization where it needs to be. So if you guys like these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I talk about fashion and beauty and home decor. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started and organize my kitchen because it needs it desperately. All right, let's get started. So I'm just gonna show you guys what needs to be done. Obviously we need to clean up what's happening here. We need to clean up what's happening here. We gotta clean up what's happening here. There's just a lot of organization and cleaning that needs to happen. Organizing this mess, trying to find a better solution for my pantry. I haven't really quite figured out the best way to organize it because they are in cabinets and shelves. It's not really like a closet. So that is the goal for this video. We're just gonna be cleaning and organizing this space. Wish me luck. All right, so I feel like I'm definitely gonna need a coffee for this task. And something really fun that Sawyer just launched, he just launched his own like coffee mug company. And so we have all these cute coffee mugs with cute little sayings and quotes. It's called the Inspirational Coffee Company. And yeah, there's so many cute little quotes and sayings. They're funny, they're inspirational. So I'm gonna link them down below because how cute is this? Messy bun and getting stuff done. Go check them out because they're really cute. And in this video, we will definitely be organizing the coffee mug cabinet because now we have a lot more mugs. Check those out down below. Oh, in case you're wondering, gem update, not there. Nope, we're gonna organize this kitchen starting now. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna start by clearing off the counter and trust me, it'll look a lot better after that. <laughs> And as I mentioned in my previous organizing video, I do carry around a notepad with me so that way I can make notes of what I need at the store. So at Target, I've already written down like a few bins that I need and like a few ideas that I have. But as I go through, I can just make notes of what I need to get because trust me, when you get to Target, you'll forget your whole list. The next task is to put away the dishes and empty off this side of the counter as well. I got roped into buying Girl Scout cookies the other day. She came up to the door with a little red wagon full of all these Girl Scout cookies and she's like, do you want some Girl Scout cookies? And I was like, yeah, I do. I couldn't resist. A little thin mint tip, put them in the freezer. You'll thank me. All right, now I'm just gonna go through the kitchen and like get rid of what doesn't need to be on the counter or, you know, just start even more cleaning. You get it. Like these flowers are dead, so those are gonna go bye-bye. I also think these flowers have about had it. What do you think? All right, now in the coffee station, I'm just going to wash these because that's gross. We're gonna empty our Nespresso. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that already looks so much better just cleaning off the counter. Wow. All right, now I'm just going to wipe down the counters. And once it's wiped down, we will move on to like going through the fridge and pantry. Honestly, if I weren't organizing, I'd probably just clean the counters and be done, but that's not this video. So now the whole counter is wiped off. Now I moved every appliance, I moved everything to get underneath it, just really, really get a good scrub in. Now what I'm gonna do is load up the dishwasher with like all the stove pieces and any like random dishware and try to fill that up so when I clean tomorrow, I can put it all back and everything will be spotless. And then the last thing I'm going to do is throw in like my brush and like straw cleaners into the dishwasher so that way when I wash it, everything is sterilized and clean. All right, now I'm just gonna spray down the sink with Clorox and bleach. This sink stains so easily, so I'm constantly doing this. I'm gonna let that sit, move over to the stove. All right, so I figured since I just cleaned the sink, I should probably just clean the stove and get it done. Yeah, 
Not my favorite thing to do in the world. All right, I feel pretty confident with where the kitchen is in terms of like cleanliness. I mean, at least surface. <laughs> so we're just going to move into the pantry and fridge. We're gonna start by cleaning out the freezer and then move up to the fridge. So let's go ahead and get started because we're gonna have a beach day later today. So I wanna get this done. Then in this drawer, we just have like odds and ends. On this side, we keep juices. On this side, I keep meats normally. And then also my yogurts because they just don't fit in here. So we're just going to make sure everything's still good. All right, we're gonna be moving into the fridge, but first I'm just gonna clean the front of it because, well, it's gross. All right, so we finally made it to the part where we're going to clean out the fridge. Now, first I'm just gonna go through everything and make sure everything's needed. And then from there, I'm gonna make notes on what I want, like in terms of organizers. So we're just gonna go through this and clean where it needs to be cleaned and just kind of start fresh. And to be honest, the reason why I didn't do this video sooner was because I really wanted to live in this space for a good couple months to really like know what I needed to do in the kitchen. Like, cause when you first move in, you're still trying to figure it out. So now I feel like we've been here long enough where I'm like, okay, I gotta move this. I need this to be more organized. Our kitchen needs this, you guys get it. Let's clean up the fridge. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> okay, so I have cleaned out the fridge and organized it a lot better. And now I know when I go to Target tomorrow, like what bins I should be getting. Like I'm gonna get one for the yogurts, one for pudding, one for just stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. But this is kind of my organization for now. I will do a better example when I get containers and actually do a fridge tour. As exciting as that sounds. But if you like organizing like me, you care. All right, we're gonna head to the beach now. Hello, it is the same day. We got back from the beach and I still felt inspired to go through the pantry. Not really inspired as much as I should probably do it so that way when I go to Target tomorrow morning, I know what I need kind of inspired. So we did the fridge, very confident with that. I'm gonna go grocery shopping and to Target tomorrow to fill that and make that look nice. And now we are going to go through the lovely, lovely pantry. My situation in here is I have shelves. They're very, very deep. And then I have drawers. So I have the same situation on the other side. And so I'm gonna go through it and see what we need, get an idea of what we really have. All right, so I am just going through each shelf and wiping it down with spray as well as a magic eraser because to be honest, I probably won't do this that often. So if I do it, I want to do it right. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then as I clean, I'm taking it all out, putting it on the counter so that way I can clean the shelves and the drawers properly and then reorganize it. For the last two drawers, I kept my Tupperware here and then down here is kind of like a random, not necessarily junk drawer, but like random drawer. So I might leave this alone only because I need to kind of organize everything else first to figure out if I can move this or what makes the most sense for this area. Now I've moved on to the other side of the cabinet. <laughs> and again, it is just an absolute mess. So let's just start from the top like we did and move our way down. Love when you find something dripping down the back side of your cabinet, which doesn't even make sense. Whatever. So this may look very messy. Well, it is, but what I'm doing right now, most everything is out of the cabinets, but I'm just going through and organizing it into categories. And the reason why I'm doing that is so I can see where I need most space. Because what I might do is actually take out one of the shelves here and like move these pegs around just depending. So I'm gonna pull everything out. Right now I have like extras, I have baking goods, I have like proteins, breakfast, like cooking, like dinner prep. I have snacks and baked goods over here, and then I have onions and potatoes, that type of thing over there. So I'm just gonna continue going through and organizing this as well. All right, down here is where I keep all the dog stuff. Um, I'm going to relocate this to like this buffet cabinet that we have. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be organizing that as well, so hopefully I figure out enough room to make a spot for the dog so that way this is out of here and I have more room in the pantry like 
that makes sense to me. So let's go ahead and get this going. All the cabinets and drawers have been wiped and swept out and cleaned and organized. So now let's try to figure out where the heck all this is gonna go. Hmm. It's like moving in all over again. Yay. So in this cabinet, they had three shelves. And I think I'm gonna do two so that way I can store more stuff, like taller items over here. So I went ahead and dropped the pegs one down. So we're just going to put this in. Way more usable, cool. And now let's start refilling these babies. So on the top shelf, I feel like it makes the most sense, at least in my space, to put all the extras and baking goods only because those are the least used products in the house. Obviously it's extras and I don't bake that often. Ah, can't have that be that high because Sawyer uses some of this for like French toast or oatmeal. Never mind, baked goods can't go up there. All right, my new plan of action is to put away things where I know I want them to go. Makes sense, so I'm gonna do it. So this top drawer we've gotten used to being like our chips and snack drawer. So I'm gonna put all the chips and snacks back there. My friends is the organizing of the pantry for tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna to go to Target and get canisters for like flour and sugar. I'm gonna get organizers for tea. And then over here I'm gonna get like baskets for potatoes and onions. So that way everything has a place and all makes sense. So I'm very proud to say it's coming together nicely, but I'm not done for tonight. I might try to tackle, I might try to tackle some of this buffet so that way I can get the dog stuff in there and see if I need to get Ollie and see if I need to get any more organizers for the dog stuff while I'm at Target as well. So, not done with me yet tonight. Now we're gonna attempt to organize this buffet. Now, I kinda use this as like my catch-all section because I don't really have like um, a large front closet. So this is little things like extra candles, placemats, art supplies, random stuff. So we're just gonna go through this and organize it a lot better and kinda just get a better handle on this area because my goal with this is to add a dog section. Let's just organize what we have down here and move on from there. If you don't know this about me, I love my candles. How does that smell? I got this amazing outdoor candle by Hearth and Hand uh, with Magnolia at Target. It's an outdoor candle and I was like waiting till we got an outdoor table or put it on the porch, but we don't have like coffee table out there. So I can't put this out there right now. So it's taking up a lot of room. So maybe I'll relocate this and all this will make more sense. All right, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better. I definitely made this like the dog cabinet. I am going to go to Target, obviously, and just get another bin for like all their medicines and organize that. Oh, stop it. Still need some work, but making progress. So the buffet is my spot for clutter. This is where I keep my purse and like receipts and just papers that somehow get here. So you know the drill, we're just gonna get rid of it. Oh my gosh, that's how it's supposed to look. Amazing. Good morning. It is Saturday morning in my world. And last night I was organizing this buffet and my camera died and my cards are full, so I kind of went on for a second without you guys. So just to catch you guys back up to speed, we keep our like keys, junk drawer, and like sunglasses over here. So this is just the key drawer, so I went ahead and organized that. Down here, I keep all of our workout stuff. I keep our towels for working out, and then like gloves and workout stuff. Over here, this is my junk drawer in the sense of like papers I need to hold on to, receipts, just important stuff that I just don't want on the counter. And then up here, this is Sawyer's drawer where he keeps his sunglasses and just things that he needs. So that is the buffet. We are caught up there. We're gonna continue in the kitchen. I'm gonna organize a few more cabinets before I go to Target because I think I'm gonna need containers for that as well. So we're gonna move on to underneath the sink. So under the sink has always been 
really messy. So I wanna find a better way to organize this. So I'm gonna start by pulling everything out again and seeing what we got. So everything is out from underneath the sink. I've wiped it all down. So now I'm gonna put it all back, um, kind of, well not kind of, way more organized. On this side, I like to keep the dishwasher pods because it's right next to the dishwasher. I have a box of Mr. Clean Magic Mics. Oh my gosh, not Magic Mics. Sawyer's mom calls these Magic Mics. <laughs> magic erasers. Every time she's like, hey, do you have a Magic Mic? I'm like, uh, no, but I have a Magic Eraser. Anyways, inside joke. So I'm gonna do extras, like big items back here, things that I don't necessarily need as much. And then on this side, I'm gonna do like things I actually use with specialty items in the back since I don't use them so frequent. All right, for now, that is much better. Like I said, when I go to Target, I am going to probably get little bins so that way it makes it easier like when I clean throughout the house and it'll look more organized. Yay, medicine cabinet. I actually already did this like a week ago because it was driving me nuts, so that's pretty much done. It's really not that exciting. Down here is our junk drawer. So I'm just gonna organize this real quick and make this look a lot better because I can't stand it anymore. This is one of my utility cabinets. It used to be like a pull-out recycling bin, like trash can situation, but it was so small, so I just took out that hardware and like re-hung these doors. So I'm just gonna take all this out and even see what's in here because I actually do have a utility drawer with like light bulbs. So I wanna see exactly what's going on in here. All right, I'm gonna go see what's in the utility drawer to see what I can organize here. All right, this is my utility drawer. Let's see what we have in here so that way we can make bins appropriately. All right, utility drawers have been organized. Done. It's officially time to go to Target. I have my list here, my grocery list, as well as my list of containers. So we're gonna go, wish me luck, and I'm excited to go play at Target. And when we come back, more organizing. That was a very successful trip to Target. Oh my gosh, I got so many bins and containers. We'll deal with that in a minute. But first, I feel like my fridge was a little empty, so I went grocery shopping since I was there. So I'm gonna quickly put away these groceries. All right, the groceries have successfully been put away. Before we jump into like putting things in containers, I am just gonna quickly go through the last few cabinets. Those are gonna be like plates and pots and pans and all that. It won't take me very long, I just need to reorganize it. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then do the best thing last, put everything in containers and make it look really pretty. Something I'm really, really proud of is how organized I was able to keep like my cups and wine glasses. So up top, we have all of our specialty glasses. Here we have our wine glasses and champagne glasses. We have drinking glasses and then shot glasses. Don't need to organize this because this is perfect. This stayed pretty well organized as well. I actually like the way it's laid out. It's very functional. Um, I'm just gonna fix that one bowl that's out of place up there and then we'll move on with this. Now, this cabinet is a different story. This is kind of all of my awkward shape stuff and it kind of doesn't make sense and I don't feel like it's the best use of space but I also have a lazy Susan down here so to be honest I kind of just want to figure out how to maximize the space because it just doesn't feel like it's working or worth it or I don't know I don't like corner cabinets they don't make sense to me <laughs> So I decided I'm gonna start by taking everything out of these cabinets, put it on the counter so that we can see exactly what I have and figure out maybe where it works better. I know Lazy Susans are supposed to be meant for food, but I like the pull-out drawers and it all being by the fridge and this being dishes, so I just gotta figure it out. Okay, I think I kinda got a better idea already, like just pulling it out what will make way more sense. So Sawyer and I still need to get a pot set, like I need to just go to Costco and purchase a pot set a set of pots and pans. Yeah, don't ask. I don't know how I've been able to function with one pot and one pan for like eight months. Anyways, what I think I might do is leave the top Lazy Susan for pots and pans or um, the bottom one. And I'm gonna put all my platters on the first one because I always feel like it's really hard to get what I want when I'm trying to entertain. I just hate jumping up on stools and stuff. It's just easier if I could just 
open up this and spin it around to get what I want. So let's start there. Perfect. Yay, that worked. So down here I have my serving platters and a set of mixing bowls that are glass, so that all fits down there. And then I'll save this bottom part for pots and pans. Again, it'll be nice that you can just swivel and pull out what you need. And honestly, on the sides of the Lazy Susan, there's some empty space, so I stick my vases down there, so that way I can find them. And yeah, they can be taller, because I don't have a lot of tall storage like a pantry would have. I honestly think that takes care of a lot of the awkwardness that I was feeling about this top cabinet because I couldn't get to my platters, my vases were all over, and yeah, this just makes a lot more sense. And I'll actually use the Lazy Susan. Yay. All right, so, so far in here, I've done all my reusable cups and like reusable and paper plates. And then on this side, I like having my measuring cups there just because I'm used to it. I know it's a really, really random spot, but I have a really small, small, like utensil drawer. So, this is where my measuring cups have gone. I feel pretty confident about that. Lazy Susan, last thing. Last thing we need to do in terms of organizing a drawer is this drawer down here. Now that I have more room up in that corner cabinet, I think I might use the top shelf for things like a fondue that we don't use too often, um, but you just need to have accessibility to. Let's just take out what we don't use very often. Start there. It's crazy what just straightening up a drawer will do. You guys saw when I opened this, it did not look like this. Oh, so much better. So down here I have my turkey or ham or meat tray. Don't use that very often. And little trick, if you don't have a grill, get a George Foreman and you can grill so much in your house. Convenience, easy cleanup. Love our George Foreman. On there I have like cheese platters and boards and cutting boards. I have a cheese grater and then I have my like guacamole bowl. Never use that either, but I saw that at TJ Maxx and I was like, that's fun. In this drawer, we have the random appliances back there that I don't use very often, but need to have accessible. We have my Nutribullet, which I use so much, mixing bowls and strainer. And then what I'm gonna put up top, our fondue maker, Sawyer loves, loves fondue. Little fun fact about Sawyer Hartman. And then I'm just gonna put up my um, attachments to my zucchini curler. But how it's all coming together. Guys, we are almost ready to put stuff into containers. Who would have thought this time would actually come? I quickly went through the silverware drawer and I just had a few things that like I was holding on to that I was like, I don't use these, I don't need it. So I just kind of cleared this up. I got this bamboo tray set at Costco and it's great because it's adjustable and you can like move like all these little compartments around. So I keep all my metal straws, coffee spoons, silverware, cheese knives, serving spoons, and yeah, that's my silverware drawer, already done. Quickly just clean up. I've actually just did this not long ago. I kind of feel like this is fine. This drawer is fun. In here I have my few pans that I do have, and then down here I have like cutting boards and then like pans and like a cooling sheet. So it's pretty organized down here. And then down here, I keep um, pans as well. And of course, we can't forget to organize the coffee. I just got a shipment of Nespresso, so I like to put these up top. As you can see, our house has a lot more coffee mugs. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Sawyer did start a coffee cup company with like quotes and inspirational and cute sayings and everything like that. So we have a lot more coffee mugs. So let's organize it and make it better. Very happy with how this coffee cabinet turned out. And then the last drawer I'm going to show you. Yes, we've made it to the last drawer is this. We have a big platter, we have a pizza sheet, we have the platter that I use every week to cook Taco Tuesday. Awkward size like cupcake pans, heart pans. Every cabinet in the kitchen has now been organized. Wow. Now, we are just gonna quickly go through and put bins where we need to put bins and see if it all works. 
so that is the task at hand. Let's just get this sucker done and my kitchen will be so organized. And now I feel like I even know where everything is even more so. Mind blown. We are first gonna start with putting sugar and flour and all that good stuff in here. So at Target, I just grabbed these OXO Softworks and they're just like the pop lids. And I thought that would be really good, Ollie. And I thought that would be really nice for here in Hawaii because humidity is a problem. So I like to keep things airtight. And then I got these little guys for brown sugar and powdered sugar because obviously we don't use as much of that. I'm not kidding you. I feel so adult putting like sugar into a container. <laughs> I never used to do that. I just used to always like use bags or put them in a baggie. And I just thought about it. You guys may think it's gross that I just like, pulled these out and used it, but I'm a germaphobe and I care about germs, but like in some areas I don't. And this doesn't bother me. So if it bothers you, I'm terribly sorry. I'm a stickler on germs in other areas. How about that? Now I actually just put these in the like giveaway go away pile because I didn't think I needed them. And they're just extra like protein scoopers and it actually makes a lot of sense for these containers. So now, whenever I have extras, I will put them in here. Yay, I feel so adult. Woo! Yay, that looks so good. Since we started with the pantry, I might as well just continue with the pantry. And here, ooh, I don't know if what I got will work. I knew some of this would be like trial and error, but I have this box for oatmeal. Let's see if one of the containers I bought will fit in that spot. Now I'm just trying to figure out what to do in this area. So I grabbed two different types of bins. These I actually grabbed for these shelves, but these I grabbed for the fridge and I'm just trying to figure out what makes most sense in this cabinet. So bear with me. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I like that these kitchen organizers fit like a glove, but is everything I'm ever going to buy need to be in a bin? Do you know what I mean? Or should I use these they're like baskets and then if something needs to go down that side, it can. I'm going to use the baskets because these are designated for the fridge. And then we have snacks. All right, somehow I miscalculated bins. I meant to get three of these for the products I don't use that often, the products I use to clean, and then my everyday products. I do have this big guy, which might be good as like my cleaning caddy. So let me get down here and see what works. This actually works really well because if I need to get to a product in the back, I can just move this out of the way and pull it out and everything stays way more organized and clean. So I like the idea of this. Okay, cool. And I have a little bin when I go around cleaning. Guys, we finally made it to organizing the kitchen. Now I am just going to use these clear bins for a few of the things up top. So it'll definitely be super easy in here. So let me just quickly get started. I got these clear kitchen organizers and these are the 14 and a half inches long by five and seven sixteenths wide. Ooh, very, very exact. Yay guys, my fridge is all organized. Well, not just my fridge, my whole kitchen is organized. So tonight I'm gonna to clean up the mess around me and then in the morning I will give you guys like a final, final tour of like how it kind of turned out. Oh, I'm so excited. Does everything feel so clean, so good? Ah, love it. So the very last thing I'm going to do before I show you guys the tour is to wipe down the counters. I'm gonna cut the flowers and then I'm also going to wipe down all the cabinets with Clorox wipes, the outside of them because I don't know the last time they've been done. They weren't done since I moved here, so I just feel like it's good every once in a while to wipe down your cabinets and just really, really give them a good clean. And since this is a cleaning and organizing video, it fits pretty perfect. So I'm excited to show you guys how it turns out in the morning. 
Well, good morning and happy Sunday. Last night I finished the kitchen as you guys saw. So I quickly just wanted to take you through the kitchen because I know the best part about these types of videos is the satisfaction of seeing it all done. Now I do have a thought. I wanna do a video on like tips and tricks for kitchen organization and maybe like a kitchen tour. So if you would like to see those two videos, let me know down in the comments below. But let's just go through and quickly show you guys how everything turned out. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy to have this all organized. So my thought is to go through the kitchen and to show you guys how each cabinet turned out. So let's just go ahead and get started. So this first cabinet is my medicine cabinet and I have what we use the most here and then to least frequent. And of course the junk drawer, much better. Down here we have my utility cabinet. I put my light bulbs and batteries in the back. I put random items over here. I put my batteries for all my Roby like um, drills and leaf blowers. And then I have my grocery bags and my trash bags. So this is a very usable and accessible uh, cabinet. I definitely think I want to put a shelf in the back or get some type of uh, containers, but for now that is much better. I'm so happy with how underneath the sink turned out. I really like that I can take this bin with me when I clean and then everything has a container and a place. So it just makes a lot more sense and it is a lot more usable than what I started with. The Lazy Susan turned out great. I really like having the platters right here. I feel like with it being able to spin, I'll be able to access my platters a lot more frequent. And then when I get my pot set, it'll go down there. And then we have the cabinet full of appliances. This is my most used appliances, and this makes a lot of sense. I like having what I don't use away. It makes it look a lot cleaner. Of course, the beautiful silverware drawer. Ta-da! Next up, we have the corner cabinet. You guys saw how I struggled with organizing this. Um, I have least used appliances up here that are smaller. I have an empty shelf, so that way, if I need more room or need to grow, I can. Here I have like all my reusable items and measuring cups. I like having this here because it's out of the way and it's all in one spot and it's just kind of like a utility cabinet or like a storage cabinet rather than something I have to go into every day. And here we have all the plates and bowls. And in here we have all of my glassware. This top drawer I have baggies and foil. In the second drawer I have dish towels, sponges, and like oven mitts. And this bottom drawer is my <coughs> lizard. Oh my God, Casper. Oh, I knew he was in there. He was in there last night. Oh, we have a pet lizard. He's an albino lizard. We named him Casper and he just scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's try this again. This bottom drawer is my utility drawer and these are things that I use a little bit more frequent. And here I have all of my utensils and spatulas and all that fun stuff. This isn't a very big drawer, so I try to keep it very minimal. This cabinet right here has my pans, cutting boards, and other pans. <laughs> I love this kitchen for many reasons, but one of my favorite reasons is so funny. It is having this spice rack drawer. Makes so much sense, keeps it way more organized. You can see what you have, and you can just push it away. Love it. And in this drawer right here, I have my awkward pans. I actually love this drawer. I wish they would have had like one more big drawer somewhere. Like I just feel like this is such a good thing to have in a kitchen. This is the coffee cabinet. We have the extras on top, mugs and water bottles. Now we're going to move on to the pantry and fridge and show you guys how that turned out. So this cabinet turned out so good. I'm so happy with the changes that I made. Up here I put all the cans and like extras. Down here I put like flour, sugar, and like baking needs. And then over here we have like oils and like, so we have like dry and wet. Do you know what I mean? We have oils, balsamic, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> so this is definitely way more functional and makes sense for my kitchen. On this side of the pantry, we have the breakfast drawer. We have the dinner drawer, like dinner prep stuff, protein drawer. And then this bottom drawer is like all my teas, coffee filters, and stuff like that. On the other side of the pantry, we have more storage. We have paper towels. We have baskets for like produce. So I have potatoes on this side, onions on this side. And then down here, I have snack baskets. This one is all Sawyer snacks. And this one is more my snacks slash healthier snacks. <laughs> In the last pantry cabinet, we have like chips and snacks. We have more snacks like crackers. 
Down here we have the Tupperware drawer. I decided to keep this here because it just made sense and I like this size of drawer for the Tupperware and it stays organized. And then down here I did keep this as well. This is just another like utility, kind of like decorative, like we have candles and just more random decorative kitchen stuff. And now for the most exciting part, we made it to the fridge. Ah! Oh, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Up here we have like butter, dog food, and vitamins. On here we have sauces and chocolates. Then we have more sauces. Up here we have bread and some breakfast items. This is where I use the containers. I personally didn't need a lot of containers because I felt like the shape of my fridge didn't quite make sense for so many. So up here we have Lunchables and applesauce. And this side I have puddings and yogurts. On that back ledge, I have like food prep stuff and then we have drinks, leftovers. We have meat and cheese, we have veggies over here. On this top shelf, I put the eggs. I used to put them over here, but I didn't realize the egg carton fit up here and it does. Then we have more sauces and more sauces. And yeah, that's the fridge, not too crazy. Then down here is our freezer. Also have this cool drawer in here, so I keep like smoothie stuff and like sweets up here. And down here, I keep the meats on one side and then like a pre-made side. <sighs> well loves, we made it. That is it. That is the end of this clean and organize with me kitchen edition. This needed it so bad. I kind of made a mini series like organize with me 2020 type of thing. So we started in my office and closet, then we did the bedrooms and bathroom and the kitchen was the final thing and it was honestly the thing that needed it the most. The thing with the kitchen is I feel like you need to live in it for a while to figure out like the exact organization and placement of things and I feel like we've been here long enough that I finally figured it out so you guys literally witnessed me redoing my kitchen. So I hope this was helpful and inspirational for you guys to do your kitchen because I know it made me do it so I hope it helps you guys do it as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like where everything is placed, so I'll keep you guys updated to see if anything else changes. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Also, let me know what other kitchen videos you guys want to see. I know I mentioned like a kitchen organization like tips and tricks and also like a kitchen tour. I know I kind of gave you guys one at the end of this, but I feel like I could go more in depth with like where I got certain things and stuff like that. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested or any other videos you guys would like to see. But like I said, that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.